Watson did a video yesterday that went viral titled The Truth About uh, Russia and Putin's Anti-Gay Stance. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm a tolerant person. Uh, and, and, you know, everybody knows who's been listening to me for 18 years that the whole sex thing is just not my bag. I, I'm not here on a high horse lecturing people all day. I, I really am not obsessed with what you do in your bedroom. I just want to really be honest with everybody out there. But I've been forced to cover it because I'm sick of it. I cannot watch any TV show, any movie, any anything without sexualization propaganda. I don't care if it's heterosexual or homosexual. It's mainly homosexual targeting my children, and, and I'm sick of it. And I'm sick of not being able to watch a sporting event or the Olympics or a sitcom, anything I watch. I got to watch Turner Classic Movies with my children when I let them watch TV once or twice a week, or I got to find old cartoons or whatever, because it, it, it is just unbelievable. And that's all they're saying is stay away from kids, don't push it on people, uh, and uh, the media is just freaking out about it. I actually look forward to being able to watch the Olympics with my children, except when NBC has all of the propaganda during their breaks. But if you're if you're Johnny on the spot with a remote, you know it won't show the guys or girls kissing every time you you go to break. And I mean, it's just stop it, stop it, stop it. I mean, stop trying to beat everybody over the head with it. And again, I mean, here's an example. Let's say I loved a steakhouse. Or let's say I loved a particular store. But if they stood outside my house beating on pots and pans, well, see, it's not like I love it. I just don't, it's not my issue. I don't hate anybody. I'm neutral. I'm tolerant. But if you stand outside my house just going, gay, 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 like the monkey beating the symbols together, I mean, it gets really, really old the way it's being pushed. Uh, and it needs to stop. And it's a cultural wedge because all our other basic liberties are being removed. And so they want to create these faux liberties. Like I saw in the news yesterday, yes, more schools in the first grade, you've got to let the little boys go in the girls' bathroom. And, and, and little five-year-olds are not thinking about dressing like boys or girls. Either way, it's how your parents dress you. They are literally trying to sexualize our children. And if they can get away with that, the sky's the limit. I mean, I've had enough of this. And I'm not even depending Putin. I mean, the city they've picked for it is the lowest quality place where they can suck the most money out of it for the Russian mob. I mean, Russia's got its own sick issues. Alex Jones here with a message to fellow freedom lovers. The prognosis for the entire planetary economic system runs from bad to worse. The globalist model is to shut down societies and starve patriots out until they acquiesce to the global takeover. That's why we've assembled the most vital and important preparedness items at InfoWarsShop.com. These are items that I did research on, that I personally use. We've got the life straw, so you can turn fetid water into safe water anywhere you go. The KTOR hand crank generator to charge up key equipment during power outages or out in the field. Strategic relocation, third edition by Joel Scalzo. When disaster strikes by Matthew Stein. Therosafe used by Homeland Security to protect yourself during any radiological event. Hand crank shortwave AM FM radios. Everything that we've researched and found to be the best is available at InfoWarsShop.com and your purchase makes our InfoWar possible. We're getting prepared. Are you? InfoWarsShop.com.